Solo is the worst Star Wars movie ever released. Solo, a Star Wars story, isn't even released to the public yet, and yet the critics are already throwing criticism at it. On to my brother for the details. Alright, thanks. So, the premiere of Solo happened uh, a while ago, and so a few people saw this movie. Um, and, of course, uh, mostly there were critics that were invited, and, you know, a few fans. But, um, so the bottom line is, people saw this movie, and uh, the critics, they reviewed Solo, and um, on Rotten Tomatoes, this movie has a 72%. Um, from the critics and just keep in mind uh, these are the same critics that uh, reviewed the last Jedi so you know the last Jedi got a 90 like 3 percent and the fans gave it like a 49 percent um so of course the the, the fans and the critics opinions uh, they definitely uh, they're very different um so of course these are the critics reviews so who knows the fans might have a different opinion but anyways the critics they gave this movie a 72 percent. Um, so let, I'm just going to read a few of the top reviews, and yeah, we'll go from there. So this uh, critic, he gave the movie a 2 out of 4, and uh, he said, It's a flawed central performance ultimately makes Solo a distinct disappointment. And its flawed central performance is Alden Ehrenreich, the guy who's playing Han Solo. So it looks like, uh, according to, the, to this one critic, the Han Solo will be getting in this film won't be quite as good as Harrison Ford's uh, portrayal. Well, what do you know? Uh, this is one of my favorite reviews. Um, I'll just go ahead and read it to you, uh, first of all. So it says, Solo, a Star Wars story directed by Ron Howard, is a curiously low-stakes blockbuster, in effect, a filmed Wikipedia page. And, yeah, I think that actually says a lot, because if you like to read a uh, Wikipedia, if you're a big nerd like that, um, then, uh, yeah, you'll notice it just kind of says, like, um... If you go on Han Solo's Wikipedia page, it'll be like, In 14 ABY, Han went to the cantina where he met Luke and, uh, you know, Obi-Wan, you know. Obviously, that's not uh, accurate information. But, um, yeah, it just kind of says everything. And I'm pretty sure Solo will do the same thing as well. Um, or at least, uh, according to this uh, critic. Just goes through all the little necessary, all the necessary plot points. And then, that's all. It'll just be a low-stakes blockbuster. Um... At least according to this critic, I'm not going to throw in my opinions yet, although I probably already have. <clears throat> take a look at this savage review. It says, It would take a disaster the size of an exploding Death Star to bump a menace from the place as the worst Star Wars movie. Solo comes in second. Well, not every review is negative. Uh, this critic writes, A pure dose of adrenaline and joy straight to the heart. Solo has kickstarted a whole new corner of the Star Wars universe, and I can't wait to go back again. So the critics give this movie a uh, 72%, but uh, what does the audience think of this? Yeah, the movie hasn't even come out, and it doesn't look like any of them are interested. Remember, most of the fans haven't seen this movie yet, so, you know, it might be a good movie. Only one way to find out. Well, if the fan reviews are through the roof, then heck yeah, I'll see it. But, you know, if the fans don't like it, then, you know, I might, I might wait a while. Yeah, but I'll still see it, because somebody's got to do the reviewing. You know what? Something just occurred to me. The audience percentage for The Last Jedi is the same as the audience percentage for Solo, A Star Wars Story. Coincidence? Oh, and also, the tomato meter keeps going down for the critics. Mm -hmm.